Wangapo nasema wa ile mkono Wangapo nasema ni kente wa ile mkono Wangapo nasema ni suji wa ile mkono Wangapo nasema sunkulu wa ile mkono Mimi nafikiri tuache hii maneno mimi nitaketi na yao chini. Sawa sawa. Sawa sawa. Tutakae chini kama watu wazima, tutaongea. Alafu ndazikia jawabu. Sawa sawa. All right, that is Raila Odinga. He was in a rock over the weekend and uh, he was speaking to those aspirants for the gubernatorial seat. And this is one of the things that will be such a headache in the next few months because the nominations have to be concluded by 22nd of April. But now you see that Raila Odinga there has between four and five aspirants for the governorship seat. He's talking about them sitting down to build consensus. He has also spoken about zoning different regions under Azimio Laumoja once it becomes a coalition. But uh, Deputy President William Bruto has spoken about the risks of zoning. Listen. Wale wote ambao tutashirikiana na wao. Unajua shida, mahali shida iko ni kwa sababu watu wengi wanataka kutuambia ya kwamba tunataka tufanye kazi na nyinyi. Lakini tuwe na mpaka. Nyinyi hamuwezi kuweka candidate hapa, hamuwezi kuweka candidate hapo. Shida ya mpango kama hiyo ni kwamba sisi tuko na chama ya kitaifa na hatuwezi kufungia wanachama wetu katika kila sehemu ya Kenya wasimame kama wanachama wa UDA na wapiganie kiti chochote kama chama ya UDA kama wale wanataka tushirikiane na wao hawana shida na chama ya UDA kusimamia kusimamisha watu ambao wa, wa wanatafuta kura sehemu zote za Kenya we have no problem with discussing with uh, anybody mambo ya kuungana na eh, kutengeneza serikali mwaka ujao. And Senator Malala, yesterday I was told that it's called political cannibalism when you field candidates of, of different political parties within an association or an alliance. Like what happened to NASA that um, most, uh, some parties uh, within NASA ended up losing their seats to Jubilee Party. What are you using, what will you do differently this time if you eventually get into that coalition with UDA and Fort Kenya, especially when it comes to fielding candidates in your strongholds? Uh, thank you, Sam. Uh, first of all, allow me to respond to what uh, Sifuna had uh, stated before uh, about the ANC party. We want to say that uh, Yes, I was once on record saying that the NC party, as it was earlier constituted, was not reflecting uh, a, a, an image of a national party. That was true. But uh, over time, we have been able to correct that. You have seen in our recent NDC, we were able to uh, open up the party. When you see the list of our deputy party leaders, we have a party leader from, two party leaders from the coastal region. We have a deputy party leader from Meru. We have uh, a secretary general from, uh, uh, say, Mount Kenya region. And therefore, uh, we, are, we are working uh, uh, the practical ways of making sure that a party is national. Mm -hmm. But we have some other parties who just put people for purposes of optics. I can tell you and I can assure you that the Secretary General for ODM is not, is not uh, Edwin Sifuna. Edwin Sifuna is just there for purposes of optics. His job description is basically to handle the social media uh, platforms for ODM and uh, taking selfies at Orange House. The real people who make decisions in uh, ODM are not, are, 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 are not even near Edwin Sifuna. Look at his cohorts in other political parties. If you want to know a secretary general is a serious person, look at Rafael Tuju in Jubilee. The guy is a cabinet secretary. Look at his uh, former, the, the predecessor. 
Ababu Namwamba, he is now the CAS. Look at our former SG, uh, 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 Godfrey Osoti. He was able to nominate himself into parliament. <laughs> Sifuna is simply a spanner boy and who has got no definite job description and who has got no mandate to make decisions in ODM. <laughs> and therefore, he should not come here and st start bragging that he is a, a secretary general. He <laughs> has got no monopoly to demean other political parties. That's said and done. Mm -hmm. On the issue of um, uh, political parties zoning uh, uh, certain areas, this basically depends on the negotiations when you are getting into, the co uh, into a certain coalition. Today, uh, the Justice uh, Committee, uh, the Justice and Legal Committee in the Senate has already concluded the report on the political parties amendment bill and uh, it will be tabling uh, its findings uh, to the Senate today. We shall be considering uh, the bill, and once the bill is passed, there are certain provisions which have now allowed coalitions to field uh, 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 a single, a single uh, candidate. We are saying that we have those options. You can field a candidate as a party when you exist in the precincts of a coalition, mm -hmm. or you can have a coalition candidate. So it depends with, the, with, the, with how parties are going to negotiate in their coalition. And politics is a dynamic game. Things keep on changing. Yes, the deputy president alluded to the fact that he does not support zoning. But uh, maybe by the time negotiations will be done, he will have to change his mind. When you go on a negotiating table, you don't go with a fixed mind. You don't go with a rigid mind. Mm -hmm. You go with a flexible mind whereby you can give and take. And therefore, as a party, we are open to any discussions. All right. We are going to ensure that we have a, a, a free democratic space that is going to make sure that the coalition which we are going to enter into is going to clinch a, a majority of the seats in all the regions of this Republic of Kenya. I hear you, Senator, but then what does Musala Mudavadi get? He wants to be president. He was endorsed to be presidential candidate by ANC on Sunday. I, I'm not sure Deputy President William Ruto would shelve his presidential ambition for him. What does he get? Uh, Sam, you know, you know, you know, I'm just uh, a happy man because of the confusion we are causing to our opponents. <laughs> they have now abandoned uh, discussing their cause. They are now discussing how Musaliam Damadi will be president or deputy president. Senator or you Malala, not are you calling me your opponent? Anywhere we, uh, in, the, in the top ranks. And uh, you have seen even uh, the, the, the uh, uh, newspapers today trying to propagate a narrative that uh, DP Ruto might not take Musali as his deputy president or Musalia might not be on the ballot. Mm -hmm. I want to uh, tell Kenyans here today, relax. We are planning our politics. We have our cards close to our chests. We are not going to divulge any information to you. I know that is what you are waiting for. I know that is what you want us. You are provoking us so that we give you our game plan so that you can now make your decisions. We shall put our cards close to our chests. You shall provoke us, but you shall not be provoked. We shall not play as per your plan. We have said we have gotten into an association with the uh, United Democratic Alliance and we shall negotiate. Mm -hmm. But the outcome of our negotiations will be, uh, 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 will, be, will be displayed to the public in an onion effect. You know, an onion effect mm -hmm. basically means the peeling effect exposes the inner bud. And therefore it is something that will be done gradually. We shall not do it in a hurry. We shall do it timely so that we do not give our opponents an advantage to work against us. All right. Senator Mara, that's interesting. But when I ask you a question, I'm not asking from an opponent's perspective. I'm asking just from a journalist's perspective. But Ali Sohome, what is in the deal? Um, so as you get into these negotiations, what, what are the scenarios? Because you have campaigned for Deputy President William Ruto to be president for such a long time. Is it time that we also consider uh, supporting Musala Modabadi for presidency, or what, what, what is the game plan? Okay, first and foremost, you see, I think the two gentlemen uh, have a, a bigger picture for the country than positions. And uh, we have said that before, even before ANC joined us. 
And therefore, the, the language and conversation in UDA <coughs> is about economic revival, reform, you know, transformation, and, and actually revolution. Mm -hmm. That's when we talk about a new economic model, we are saying let's not, not focus so much on, on, on the positions that we are likely to get in any arrangement that forms the government before you can uh, discuss about what changes, what the Kenyan people will get out of that uh, formation. And, and I think uh, we, the media has not been very helpful about that. You know, if there is too much attention on positions that uh, either Ruta will get or Alice Wahome or Mudavadi. Now you see Mudavadi comes and the first thing you want to know uh, or the people want to know, including our opponents, what are you giving, what is on the table? I think that, for me, is secondary. When they talk about uh, Uchumibora, and we are talking about a uh, bottom-up economic mo model, there is a, a very good convergence there mm -hmm. that Kenyans should see first and, and insist that give us, give us a plate or you know, uh, give us a, a, a proper document for us to be able to to, to interrogate so that we can uh, Is it ready? have Honorable confidence. So yes. So, so I it, will not it, it, answer is you. That, that. Is that document ready? The manifesto of uh, UDA. You see, even if assuming it was ready, then it will be have to be reviewed because we have new partners. But we have been engaging Kenyans. It's it's work in progress, and I'm glad that it will have new input from partners. That uh, you know, you never finish <coughs> those documents until just when maybe mm -hmm. uh, you are now going to the final final lap. Uh, and therefore, it will not be but fair for you basic, to expect us to the discuss basic, the manifesto. The basic, that is not ready. the basic conversation here and agenda mm -hmm. is that we must change our economic setup because Kenyans where they are, you know, the country is, ba is bankrupt. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, if Una agrees on that, we may disagree on anything, on any, anything else. And he would also say that we are responsible. But unfortunately for them, now they have the baggage. You know, because the leadership, this government is jubilee leadership. But this term is, is hardship, leadership. I can tell you some, mm -hmm. the people in jubilee, don't have as much space, the rem remnants of Jubilee, because it was cannibalized, it was destroyed by Murave and Tuju. And, 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 and of course the executive, you know, the owner of the party. The remnants do not have as much space as Sifuna and his uh, ODM team have mm -hmm. in this current government. L L let me and therefore, mm -hmm. the baggage he's talking about mm -hmm. that we shall carry from ANC, I can tell you, if there is any baggage, and with due respect, I don't agree with that, but our baggage then will be much, much lighter than the baggage ODM will carry from Jubilee. I can tell you, they, you know, they will be bleeding and bleeding everywhere where Jubilee had, 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 had seats. They will, it will, they will bleed to death. I can tell you that. Let, so, let, let me so, ask you, uh, but, but also, Sohobine. I don't agree with some of the terminology. Sifuna, you know, I want to wish you very well in, in, in Nairobi, I think, senatorial seat. I know you have been there before. And, and it's not, uh, don't give up because I also lost uh, twice. But the point is, <laughs> <laughs> Please don't use some terminologies that you are using on partners who contributed to where you are, including your position. Ticks no. and uh, ticks and uh, you know fleas, ticks and fleas and whatever. You know, I don't agree. You know, I may disagree a little with uh, with Marara <coughs> that uh, you are not the secretary general. You see, you can be able to take advantage of that position, even if, of course, an office like that one of a secretary general, you cannot survive unless you consult the uh, sometimes the. The, the key, uh, other key partners or owners of that political party, <laughs> including the membership. So I think that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sam, Sam, let me just uh, tell you that. So, if, so, if, so that if, the baggage uh -huh. aspect okay. is not correct. But if, of if course, AMC, uh, if there will AMC, be a lot of negotiations. There will be a lot of negotiations. And, and I think I don't see, there is no way. Mudavadi is a very cautious and calculated person. Mm -hmm. As he joins uh, with, uh, with, with uh, William Ruto, UDA, mm -hmm. uh, with Wetagura, I'm very sure he knows what political attitudes are available. Okay. That's what I, I, I just wanted to clarify uh, yes, Sam, mm -hmm. that, in fact, if ANC and Ford Kenya had anything to do with my position, I would not be the Secretary General. No, I said today. people. You know, so what, you what know I want ANC, to make clear, yeah. okay. I, I, I heard you. I heard you. Mm. And, and even when Malala talks about my position, he knows that... Uh, I am the person responsible for making him deputy minority leader. He knows. 
And how, one day he will confess. How did you do that? And I am the person responsible for removing him there. If I did not have those powers, uh, how, how did you do I, that? I don't know what he was talking about. But one of the things that I observed oh, no, from, no, uh, no, Not so fast. Um, how did you do that, knowing that you're the Secretary General? So Malala came to me when he wanted to be Minority Leader. Uh -huh. And he asked me to speak to my senators. Because the senators in ODM uh, have a respect for their SG. And they listen to the things that I tell them, uh, suggest to them. Uh -huh. So he can uh, argue or dispute if he wants. The good thing, he knows that I have the evidence. So let him uh, try. But the truth of the matter is, I would not be able to pull such a feat if I did not have any power in the party. But that's another thing. One of the things that uh, I noted from what the Deputy President is saying, and Alice, when I, when I tell you that you will know a lot of pain, I am speaking as a person, if, if you met uh, uh, my former spouse, somebody I divorced, and I'm telling you that the, there are issues here and there, you should take that caution very strongly. One of the things that, uh, just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> we divorced. Yeah, I have, I have heard what you're saying, <laughs> yes, and I'll come to know, that. I have, I have heard what you're saying, and, and, and I, I'll come to that. Yeah? What Ruto was talking about here, about uh, zoning and uh, being a national party, uh -huh. in fact, that will be the first fissure in this new agreement with uh, uh, ANC. Because the ANC thrive in zoning. In fact, it is the first demand that they put on the table that they say, Mutuachie Western, Sisi Tutapanga Iyo. And yet, there are members of Jubilee, uh, of uh, UDA in Western Kenya, who will not accept. Mm -hmm. If you tell Didmas Baraza, for instance, in Kimilili, that he cannot run, that because that Western Kenya, an ANC person has to run, he will not accept it. So you will run into the first headwinds there, because that is usually one of their basic demands. You talk about uh, uh, Jubilee and the deputy president being part of the... Uh, of, of government. And this is one of the ironies that we were pointing out. Uh, when uh, your newfound partner was talking about running down the country, you say we might, not ag uh, we might agree that the country is in a bad place. How did we get there, Alice Wahome? You are the people in charge of government. Your deputy president is sitting there receiving a lecture from somebody saying corruption is rife in government. What is your role and what responsibility can you take as members of UDA for running down the country? And the question then becomes, you have put us in this position. Why are you asking us to give you a chance to get us out? Zero since 2018. Take over. You took over. You are the partner. We've given you the space. You answer the questions. Accountability we rely squarely on the hardship partners. Be because ODM is in government. Mm. We are not in government, Alice, mm. and you know it. Hardship and by the way, partners. look at the things that you guys were able to do or uh, the problems tell that Kenyans, you got, you got us in that. between 2013 and 2017. So you will tell us the debt that you piled up during those uh, five years initial when there was no handshake. When the money was being stolen from NYS and Eurobond One and the others, ODM was not a handshake partner. How do you explain those ones? We did not prevent. Okay. Uh, you know. Sifuna, you may not be aware that the handshake is bringing another, another increment, another expansion. No, no, no. You the, explain your bit. No, no, no. If, 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 we, if we have to explain our bit, mm -hmm. can we start with you explaining? SGC, Sifuna, I've had you, and, I, and I think because you hate a fair question. Um, so, because, yes, it's true that Musala Mudabadi was very on point when it comes to analyzing the state of the nation. But for Deputy President and yourselves that uh, have been there since 2013 until now, really, how do you explain to Kenyans, even if you dissociate yourselves from the second term, how then about the first term? It was manageable. It was doing well. We the theft was managed. We, we, did not, we did not mess the first term. There are so many gains. And you see, if some you listen to ODM and Jubilee today, mm -hmm. what they have been doing, including this station where I am, is trying to, 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 to roll out and to give the scorecard of Jubilee. Not of ODM Jubilee, but of Jubilee, because you see this, thing, the is, party in this power. thing is not constitutional. So, so the, you know, <laughs> the, the, the marriage is, you know, is, uh, you know, is what do you call those things? No, you know? Just so, tell me about the so first what, time. What the first time is okay if you look at the things they have done. We started on, and, and in fact, they have been trying to build on that. Unfortunately, because this time, Sam, mm -hmm. the baggage that the government found itself with of having now to distract everybody, all systems go mm -hmm. for BBI, completely derailed the government from the course 
that it was doing. You see, you don't even hear major projects mm -hmm. being given public profile. And you know, it is very important. Okay. So, so even funding, even attention to those uh, projects, you know, the government is disunited. How do you tell the country that you are managing when out of your 172 members of parliament, you have 25? members of parliament and you have to be plead and, and kneel down to your, to your most East while uh, uh, rival in politics competitor, the ODM, so that they can they can pass things for you. Mm -hmm. So obviously you have to change oh, 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 you have, you have to I, change I, I, some have of to the projects and, and direct some of the projects the, into some of mic, those regions. Give an opportunity to oh, okay. that, um, okay. because I'll also have to verify the numbers that you say about the members of parliament. But, but Fred. <laughs> I'm so far away. Maybe it's uh, Fred. cannot be heard. But uh, Fred, so now, look at what is happening. I mean, political parties are forming themselves. When they have time, they go to the ground. They engage the masses. But your side of politics has been rather heavily in political meetings, technical committee meetings, strategizing. Don't you think you'll get to a point that you've already lost the ground? Uh, not at all, Sam. Not so. I'll just give you an itinerary yeah, for the next 10 days. And today we'll give you another one for another 10 days. We'll be giving them in piecemeal. That is happening. Constituent parties are also doing their thing. As Kanu, we are all out recruiting aspirants, and that is happening. Uh, Wiper is doing the same thing. Uh, Speaker Muturi is doing the same thing. Martha Karo is doing the same thing. So there's a lot of work that is happening on the ground. But at the pinnacle level where Oka principles sit, mm -hmm. and you know some, all politics starts at the boardroom, then they move to the field. Mm -hmm. We have left the boardroom. We have taken off. We are moving to the field to join our constituent parties where they are. I want to tell you some, as a party, Mm -hmm. What Kanu. are your thoughts on uh, nominations? I'll tell you that. As a party, Kanu, we strongly believe in the leadership of Senator Gideon Moy because he is a man with a focus and we will follow his instinct, we will follow his leadership style, he will take us to the ultimate victory. As Oka, we strongly believe in the leadership of our principles because they are suitable and capable. And as they guide us, we believe in their agenda that they are committing to a sustainable economy. They are talking about sustainable economy. They are talking about de strengthening devolution and taking those services to the people of Kenya, mm -hmm. to their doorsteps. They are talking about climate change and fighting the resilience. They are talking about responsive public service and protection of social interest group. Now, on the nomination, Sam, we know that the political parties amendment bill is, uh, has gone for concurrence at the Senate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am glad that Senator Malala, even though he has joined the yellow fever, he will, is committing to go and pass that bill. Thank you, Senator Malala, for that, if anything. Now, when that bill passes and becomes a law, then now we shall look at it and say, where are our strengths? Who are our partners? How do we craft and relook at our coalition agreement so that it favors our party as Kanu? Mm -hmm. And as Kanu, I can also tell you, we are going to field candidates all over. That is happening now. We would want to invite aspirants, come to Kanu. Don't be swept away by this fever. It is not existing, it is dangerous, it is damaging, it is destroying. We shall for sure follow the instincts of our leaders. Wow. You continue to call it fever. Mm. Let's take a look at feedback. I'll give you a minute each at the end. But um, uh, engineer, okay, Ochi, the event we also wasn't really a quick. Musala decided to create a platform to indirectly confront Raila because of what he termed as deceit, and Uhuru because of asking them to back Raila. Otherwise, their bitterness can be seen on Cleophas Malala. And Nuru, do you know? Edwin Sifuna has forgotten that when they were at Bukungu Stadium, they literally begged Mudavadi and Weta to join as Zimiolawa. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> now that Mudavadi has shunned them, they attack him. You can note it down. Um, Kiprono, Abraham, may, maybe Mudavadi may not form a coalition with Ruto, but he has done one thing, exposing the real owner and objective of One Kenya Alliance. ODM took away Uhuru and empty Jubilee Party, but has lost Mudavadi and ANC. 
Athanas Mavuti, it is now clear that One Kenya Alliance is remotely controlled and that's why they are frustrated by Mudavadi Weta walkout. Indeed, the earthquake shocked most of the political divide associated with Azimio. They might be forced to go back to the drawing board. Uh, Fred will tell us about that. I think, Muda this is Eddie Williams, I think Mudavadi joined Ruto way too early and considering he's joining the coalition as a weaker partner, he will become irrelevant when politics will be at the peak. Abraham, that's for Malala. Abraham, you're saying, uh, no, Abdirahman. ANC was dead on arrival. <coughs> Ruto is smart and he clearly said that the party is UDA. Then how many votes can Mudavadi bring, leave alone Western? Politics of smart is at play here. Equal or unequal, UDA has carried the day. Okay, Lomolimu. From Mudavadi's demeanor and body language, the son of Mululu is a very, is that how you say it? Mululu. Yes is a very bitter man. However, his latest move will definitely backfire. Going by the recent exodus from ANC, the suicide bomber moment is here with us. Let me begin with you, Senator Malala, a quick response to some of those views that Kenyans are sharing with us in 30 seconds or so. Uh, as said, John said, what is good f for the goose is good for the gander. Uh, I'm just surprised. You remember when the deputy party leader of ODM was sent to negotiate with the deputy president, William Ruto? It was safe for uh, ODM. But when Mdavadi goes to, uh, in an association with the deputy president, it is suicidal for Mudavadi. We, we, we want to tell our opponents, let them concentrate with their business. We have made our choices politically. We shall stick to them and we do not regret. Second, we are going to traverse this country. We are going to talk to like-minded Kenyans. And as uh, my colleague Alice has said, we are not talking about positions. We are talking about what is going to liberate this country when it comes to economic revolution. Mm -hmm. We have seen articles, and these I must say here on, the, on this national television. We know every uh, human mm -hmm. being has got a, a, a natural favorism when it comes to uh, a political uh, inclination. Okay. But it must be it must be said mm -hmm. that uh, journalists must be apolitical they must show some level of impartiality when it comes to reporting mm -hmm. you've seen today's newspaper trying to report and uh, are writing that Musalim Davadi will not be on the ballot just to paint a certain perceptions that right. Musalim Davadi has lost it S Senator when Malala, you look at the writers we're, we're, of uh, we're, we're that article time. you can be yeah, yeah, we have. We are, you we can are, sorry, uh, we are out basically of time see because their political inclination. Therefore, we want to say that we must make sure All right. that when you are doing our work as journalists, we must be impartial. Let us not write articles that we know they are false. All right. And we know that they are serving certain interests. All right, I hear you, Senator Malala, and of course, I've raised that question with you, and you said that you not reveal the details as yet. But will you be going to Nakuru tomorrow? Oh yes, we, we, the train has already taken off. Okay. We shall be in Nakuru tomorrow. That, that, that's fine. Uh, uh, we are going to Bungoma uh -huh. to talk to Sifuna's relatives <laughs> who we are in uh, agreement with them to ensure that they endorse oh, 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 our right, position. Senator, and Senator, I, I, even I Sifuna you. himself will, will, be, will be joining us very soon. Okay. I'm sure once he sees the Bungoma rally, the guy will get into <laughs> Okay. Mode and he will be that's, joining that, us soon. That's fine, Senator. I hear you out of time. But as uh, uh, <laughs> you Funa, your closing remark. Yeah, yeah. Sub, uh, you know, when I was speaking about uh, the ironies of uh, Sunday, I forgot one irony where the people are singing Sipangwingui. Then the deputy president is the one who comes with the list of all the activities, including the one they are going to uh, uh, Nakuru tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They have no capacity to plan any, any rallies on their own. So, when I say my wapangui, then the, the guy comes and pangas them. Finally, on Buhungu. I was there, Sam. <coughs> when I spoke, and I spoke at Bohungu, you didn't see anybody inviting uh, these guys to join us. We said that uh, in Western Kenya, Najosin <laughs> there are some jogos that uh, will uh, uh, weaker before morning comes, and we have learned them. Well, some of them are just uh, new gonjwa. 
They need to be, you know, kitoweo. So it is uh, nobody invited them yes, there. Yes, we I... know the capacities of all these our brothers, and I welcome Malala all to right, the Boma. Yes, Yifuna, your metaphor yeah. is another level. Um, <coughs> honorable for Hobe. Yeah, thank you, Sam. Uh, I just want to conclude this uh, discussion this morning by saying because the, I I think my mic went off when you were asking mm -hmm. me about uh, uh, the success of uh, whether we can take credit or not take credit, uh, and whether we will not be part of the failures of Jubilee, if any. Actually, there are many failures, and I say that that can be attributed to the hardship partners. The, you know, the hardship brought a convolution of ideas. Now, mm -hmm. we never promised as Jubilee mm -hmm. about uh, BBI, and mm -hmm. uh, all we have done for the last four years mm -hmm. is to abandon the Big Four agenda and talk right. about constitutional change. Kenyans need economic revival mm -hmm. and not BBI. Mm -hmm. So Sifuna and their teams, Jubilee and the ODM, will now suffer the consequences of their bad behavior right. and I, deceit I, this time round. I, I hear you. So Fred, yeah. they, they say that finally the owners of Oka can be seen. Who are the owners of Oka? In your the owners, owners of Oka are Kenyans, the One Kenya Alliance. But uh, I agree that we are at a time when we need to be tolerant to each other, and mm -hmm. that's why we congratulate Mudavadi for having moved to Wilbarrow. And we would want to invite Kenyans. On 27th, please come in large numbers, Kitui. On 28th, Makweni. On Saturday, 30th, Machakos. On uh, Sunday, Kirinyaga. And on, on Monday, Bomet. But you see, <laughs> but, 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 but you see, this is my closing, closing remarks. We, we, we agree, we agree mm -hmm. with one of the, uh, the, the, the listeners and the, and, and the viewer that uh, Mudavadi is weak. And you see, the weakest person today is William Ruto. He has been cornered, he okay. has been damaged, he's on the floor and hanging on our equally weaker person in the name of Mudavadi. They right. say to Sidanganyane, we tell them how to danganyiki. All right, um, Fred, I hear you. You are the politicians. Uh, you see things differently, and you tell us how you see them. Thank you so much, uh, Senator Kilofas Malala from Kakamega, SJ Edwin Sifuna, Honorable Ali Swahome, and uh, Fred Okango from Kano, and spokesperson of uh, One Kenya Alliance for making time for us. Up next is Mata Social. Willis Rabu will be here shortly uh, to take on the conversation. But like we keep saying, it's your time to make that decision. Listen, analyze, and make the decision when the time comes. My name is Sam Kituku. Bye for now.